Welcome back to another video and today we got something special. We got the latest MSI SWAT 16 HX model. This is an Intel Core i9 13th generation. Got a 13980HX and let me remind you, this is a 24 core processor which means you get the best of performance and this thing only costed me 11000 looking for a laptop which you could use for programming gaming and it is future proof and you're low on budget then this is the one for you this comes with an intel core i9 13 generation processor with 24 cores unbox this pure cardboard box there are no much more design in terms of what they have to offer this also comes with a Windows Home 2000, probably 23, 2023 edition. I think after that, they kind of stopped the whole Windows Office thing and they started Microsoft 365. So if you're also looking for work, you also get the Office subscription with it, which is for lifetime. So once you log in, you have to activate it with your account and that binds it for your lifetime. So at present, let's take a look at the the initial information so this is SWAT 16 HX model model number is B13 VFKG so I just checked the model number here and also on their website so you can have the look at the data sheet which will be visible somewhere on left or right this comes with an Intel Core i9 13th generation 13980 HX processor so this is a top of the line processor if you are thinking of getting a 14th generation processor, I don't recommend it because they are pretty much expensive and there is not much of a difference between 13th and 14th generation because they both come with a 24 core processor. So a 13th generation with a budget tight budget, this is the one that you need. Also this comes with a 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and we have a Windows 11 Home Edition. But I'll probably upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro. If you already have Windows 11 Pro with you, you can also upgrade it by linking your account and so on. This has an RTX 3060 by the way. We also had a version with 3070. But in terms of laptop GPUs, there is not much of a difference between 3060 and 3070. So if you're on low budget and you don't mind like having the same memory because there is not much of a difference in FPS as well. So this is an 8 gigabyte version. So okay, so inside the box this is the power port that you get with it okay now you have the new laptop let's keep it aside see what else we have in the box okay this is some paperwork that you get also let me remind you you have a two year on-site warranty so if your laptop has any sort of issues that related with the manufacturing and all so at last we have the power bit and let's see what's the voltage here about 100 to 50 watts power adapter and this is pretty heavy by the way yeah also you do get a PD charging option via type C with a display input option let me show that as well so let's bring the laptop let's keep everything aside Okay, so this is MSI SWAT 16 HX edition. So welcome back. Uh, I have I'm about to complete the setup. So let's talk about the whole laptop. So this is a SWAT 16 HX B13 VF KG-625 IN, which means India. And this is the model number. So I'm being very specific about the model number. The only reason for this because there are a lot of variants and each model has a different specification and you don't want to go for that because this is an Intel Core i9 version and this is on budget. So this is the reason I'm telling the entire model number. I'll also provide the link in the description if you are looking for this very specific model and I only recommend this because this is a value for money. So let's talk about the whole design and build quality. So let's start with the design. The MSI SWAT 16 is a sleek and modern with a cosmos gray chassis if you see and this gives it a premium look without like too flashy uh, being like other gaming laptops and it weighs about 2.3 kgs which is a really heavy and if you are considering this for your school and colleges 
I think you will have a heavy workout session every time you go to school. Let's talk about the whole display. So the Swatch 16 HX features a 16 inch full HD plus display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 and a 1444 hertz refresh rate. The screen is an IPS level so you are getting great view angles and vibrant colors if you could see. Uh, if you could see the difference, uh, this is my normal Lenovo ThinkPad and this has, has full sRGB support and this also has full sRGB like all the gamuts of sRGB is fully supported on this display as well and if you see both look very similar but this has a little bit brighter display so yeah uh, that's that now Coming to aspect ratio, it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So this is most for productivity. Also, you get a good gaming view angles on this one. Let's talk about performance. So now let's go into what really matters. The performance here, the Swatch 16 HX is powered by Intel 13th generation Core i9 13980HX processor. That's a 24 core. So with this comes with an 8 performance cores and 16 efficiency cores and it hits up to 5.6 GHz max turbo frequency. It's a beast when it comes to both single thread and multi thread tasks. So now for gaming the laptop is backed by an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU with uh, 80 GB of DDR6 VRAM. You can expect up to 115 watts of power which is fairly low but I do consider this a good consumption rate uh, because you have like single and multiple already power slots and I don't think you will probably use full 160 watt power. This side doesn't cut any corners when it comes to memory. You get a 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM running at 56 megahertz. So you are maxed out on this one. But there is one thing that you need to remember which is that you can upgrade up to 96 gigabytes of memory. And you do get uh, two memory slots. Uh, I do think they have already used both of those, so I don't recommend like, upgrading it anyway. As far as the storage, so this is something that I want to tell about because you get a one terabyte NVMe SSD, and this has a PC Gen 4 slot, which means there is a room for expansion with an additional M.2 SSD slot. And you can use probably use and Samsung 970 Evo Pro. I do recommend 970 Evo Pro or the evo plus edition they are amazing i've been using them for very long the only thing is they are pretty much expensive you can also go with western digital they have a one terabyte ssd for somewhere around five thousand to six thousand that is also a good choice if you want to have a secondary storage option this already comes with the one terabyte storage by the way but i do recommend getting a secondary storage option here now coming to thermals and cooling now with all that power, right, the thermals and key, the MSI uses cooler boost of 5 technology with a dual fan and 6 heat pipes to keep the CPU and GPU cool. I ran some stress and while the fans get a little bit louder under heavy loads, the system stays within the reasonable temperature even during the intense gaming session. Now, if you want to hear, I'll just bring the uh, mic very close to the laptop. So if you see both my fan is turned off and I'm not using any AC so this is dead silent room and in this dead silent room also you will not be able to hear much of the fan noise and when it's fairly idle. When you are playing games at start at the beginning it starts ramping up the speed but after like 5-10 minutes it kind of cools down and you do get a smooth uh, running from there. Next. Coming to keyboard and the whole inputs that you have, you had 24 uh, zone RGB gaming keyboard which means you can customize your lighting zones to set up your style and everything and you also get a Windows uh, Copilot key which is like this one. Uh, I'm not sure why they are giving this, uh, I know Microsoft wants to like have the whole AI thing embedded everywhere but I, if this is customizable then we can use it for other purposes as well. But yeah, you do have a Windows key and also the co-pilot key as well. Now coming to audio, uh, for audio you do get two or two speakers uh, with the uh, Namek 3 audio enhancer. The sound is decent for a laptop but I do recommend using an external gaming headset or if you really want to go into the whole experience uh, even like watching heavy uh, Dolby audio. The Dolby audio is supported by the way. You can use external speakers like this. These are the 
ones which I bought from a local store and these are really good because these are made up of wood. So if you want to get a speaker, I recommend getting one from wood and these are pretty heavy so they make a good audio. Now let's come to connectivity and host. Uh, the MSI has packed this laptop with plenty of ports for all your needs. You get three USB type A ports, one USB type C with PD charging and an HDMI 2.1 port This that supports like 8K at 60 frames. Uh, 8k at 60 hertz or 4k at 100 hertz so not to mention like you also have a full gigabit ethernet connection with wi-fi 6e and bluetooth 5.3 for wireless connectivity now coming to battery now in battery life it's always a concern with powerful gaming laptops the swat 16 comes with a 4 cell 65 watt hour battery you can expect around 4 to 5 hours of a regular daily usage but for gaming you definitely don't want to keep it unplugged uh, while you are gaming and I always do recommend to keep your laptop always plugged in if you are using a desktop setup because it kind of increase the battery life of your device. If you are considering for a laptop in 2024 this is definitely the one I recommend the still the, the sale is still live if you want to buy it if you are not able to have a look at it I'll provide the link in the description you can go and like have a full go through I'll also provide the results of the various benchmarks which I'll be um, performing after the whole sign up thing and at the end of the video I'll keep the, all those benchmarks all at once you can have a look I'll also provide the link for the github repo where all the benchmark results are visible if you enjoyed it and you think like this is a good value for money and you want to buy it please follow the link in the description if you are looking for any other reviews I'll be doing a lot of more we have a lot of new things lined up for this entire year and also coming to 2025 Thanks everyone for watching and see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.